helpful. <laughs> um, yeah, so for me, I think the biggest change is like from where we were before, we were doing lots of activities, putting lots of efforts in and testing lots of things, but it was like a very fragmented distributed kind of energy input. Um, and like with kind of like the processation of, of that and the kind of ideal customer profile, the market validation, we've essentially figured out how that kind of like 80-20 concept, right? We've figured out where are the, where really are our customers and it makes sense for our business to have the challenges that we have the solutions for and how do we first of all focus on them and then second of all like kind of after shifting that focus it's then even looking at out of all of the actions that you can take how do you kind of really figure you know figure out what is the right process there and how to kind of refine those uh, that next step further so not just figuring out okay what is the stuff that really makes a difference but then focusing on that stuff and getting better at that as well and um, so I think it's kind of like this efficiency of of kind of I guess our time and energy into the sales process for me I feel it's like where we were before and we're kind of where we are now and, and what did that mean for you in terms of like monthly revenue increase in percentage or absolute numbers how you prefer to speak about it um Pala, probably this is is more your realm you want to I mean, for us, I think like safely, like we have to talk about customer acquisition somewhere in here, right? As well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I prefer not sharing actually numbers, but um, if that's okay with you, Manuel. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, let's say definitely we see that we are speaking much more often with customers. And um, and these conversations that we are having, uh, we are probably also much more targeted whom we speak to. So uh, the success rate of these are is much higher because we are uh, we are so much more focused with messaging, with type of people we approach, who we get on the phone, right? And uh, that just also saves a lot of time. Yeah, and and I kind of see it's like. Everyone says, yeah, a startup is about uh, testing things and trying out different stuff. But you have to find that uh, balance because you can't be testing everything. And, uh, and what we have discovered here, right? We got a certain indication which direction we want to go. And we started focusing on that. And, and that's, that's what really works. You can't be testing everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. You have to like test, but then summarize pretty quickly what direction you think you're going in and then take that really broad test and pro process and just double down on the area that you kind of think you're going in. As Paula said, for a startup, when you start to like distribute your energy, then things start to go awry. Yeah, cool. No, but con congrats to your achievements on, on that direction over the last, I think, only like three months, two and a half months. Um, and also like, due to you being very active on, on these calls and also like asking smart questions. So congrats to that. Cool, thanks.